Do you want to learn how to fly the DJI Mini 2 or any drone cinematically? In this video we shall be learning how to do some basic cinematic moves for beginners. So let's get into the air. I would say that there are three steps in achieving uh, cinematic footage. First one is definitely the settings. You should be using manual settings. In this case, filming at 25 frames per second in 4K. The shutter is 1 50th of a second and ISO 200. Next thing in the settings section would be probably um, proper gimbal settings. Pitch speed 10 and smoothness 25 would be a lot better for controlling the gimbal smoothly. Then you can also have these settings right here forward and right I have at 30 uh, ruder right I have at I would say 15 and throttle up I would leave at 25 all right and that's pretty much it for the expo settings and then I would also suggest you to use manual white balance in this case I think 73 100 Kelvin works the best and the grid lines as well with the diagonals and grid it helps you to properly compose the shot and then the next step is the composition you have to compose the shot properly so it looks pleasant to your eyes and other people's eyes so if I would be approaching this church right here uh, I would have it composed like this and the third step is movement this first shot will be very simple so we'll be moving forwards slightly upwards really close to, close to these trees and it will give us the depth of um, yeah of the space we are in and it just looks pretty cool very simple just slightly upwards and forwards close to the branches don't be afraid just capture now we'll adjust it slightly with the rotation all right our next shot will be a smooth orbit around these towers right here so we'll be just uh, moving right and with the left stick compensating to the left and achieving this orbit you can also use a gimbal up or down to increase the amount of movement you have in the shot that will make it look even better and that is how you orbit it's very cool if you have things uh, close to the camera because that gives you the feeling of depth our next shot will be also very very simple we'll be flying through these towers so flying forwards without any other movement flying through objects can give you a very cool feeling of of the area you're in and it also is just it's just very exciting to do and one thing I can say about flying through things don't be afraid just fly and uh, oh the birds thank you and it, everything will be fine I would have to be a little bit more centered here and BAM that's how you fly through things our next shot is going to be also very simple so let's move into the place let's fly above these towers right here just like that all oh, looks very cool very foggy we have a foggy foggy day and now let's just move slightly lower and uh, the shot will be me going upwards with a slight slight rotation that will give us a very very cool revealing shot of what we are actually seeing so move up and the left stick to one of the sides it will give you the rotation and that gives us a very cool cinematic shot as you can see the movement the composition and the settings working all together to achieve cinematic looking shots and this fog also helps quite a lot actually and this car was also in the right place 
and that is how you get shots like that our next shot is going to be like this we're just going to reveal this playground right here it could be anything it could be a house behind other buildings so imagine that these trees are something that is in front and the playground is something that we want to reveal so let's tilt the camera gimbal slightly more upwards move forwards uh, the closer to trees the better because it will give us the feeling of depth and that is always very much appreciated and tilt the gimbal down that will give us that will reveal the things that we want to reveal just like that Oh, and a bird again. Thank you, bird. And we can do the same thing backwards, but flying backwards is advised to actually check what you have behind you. So right now we are above all the trees, so we are pretty good. So let's have the camera tilted all the way down so we can see the playground. And then, okay, not all the way down, almost all the way down. Let's maybe have it precisely. And then just move backwards tilt up the camera and a very cool basic cinematic shot that reveals us more of the scenery we have in this place and those trees below us gives us a very cool feeling of depth depth is what you really need when capturing uh, cool shots in my opinion all right and uh, now Let's do one more that's slightly a bit more advanced, so we'll be moving forwards, slightly lowering the altitude, rotating in, tilting down the camera, and concentrating on the swings. Just like that. If you practice a lot, it's very easy to do. This is my first try. Uh, camera up more yeah just like that can we fit through yeah we can <laughs> spatial awareness is something you should be uh, practicing it's it's something that will help a lot in capturing between things thank you so much for watching hopefully you were able to enjoy this video hopefully you were able to learn something new today if you did you know what to do go hit that like and uh, Maybe subscribe if you want to see more tutorials about flying and other drone related and filmmaking stuff. I already have a lot of videos about controlling the drones in uh, more advanced and basic ways. So go check the playlists, cinematic flight tutorials and constant flow. You can learn a lot there. People have been saying that it has helped them a lot. So maybe it will help you too. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.